Stata's help system provides a wealth of information to help you learn and use Stata. Let's illustrate the help system with an example in this video. You will get the most benefit from the example, if you work along at your computer. Follow the above approach, first, select help search, then, check that the search all radio button is selected. Now, type dataset contents into the search box, and click on OK or press enter. Stata will now search for dataset contents among the Stata commands, the reference manuals, the Stata journal, the FAQs on Stata's website, and community contributed features. Here is the result. Upon seeing the results of the search, we see two commands that look promising, codebook and describe. Because we are interested in the contents of the data set, we decide to check out the codebook command. The D means that we could look up the codebook command in the data management reference manual. The codebook link in, help codebook, means that there is a system help file for the codebook command. This is what we are interested in right now. Click on the codebook link. Links can take you to a variety of resources, such as help for Stata commands, dialogues, and even web pages. Here the link goes to the help file for the codebook command. What is displayed is typical for help for a Stata command. Help files for Stata commands contain, from top to bottom, the following features. Firstly, the quick access toolbar with three buttons, the dialog button shows links to any dialogues associated with the command. The also see button shows links to related PDF documentation, help files, and related command. For example, click describe will show you information about this command. The jump to button shows links to other sections within the current help file. For now, either click on jump to and choose examples from the drop down menu or scroll down to the examples. It is worth going through the examples as given in the help file. Return now to the top of viewer. The second line of a help file shows a view complete PDF manual entry link. Clicking on the link will open the complete documentation for the command, in this case, this is codebook, in your PDF viewer. Thirdly, the command syntax, that is, rules for constructing a command that Stata will correctly interpret. The square brackets here indicate that all the arguments to codebook are optional but that if we wanted to specify them, we could use a var list, an if qualifier, or an in qualifier, along with some options. The options are listed directly under the command and are explained in some detail later in the help file. The fourth feature is description of the command. Because codebook is the name for big binders containing a hard copy describing each of the elements of a data set, the description for the codebook command is justifiably terse. The next feature is the options that can be used with this command. These are explained in much greater detail than in the listing of the possible options after the syntax. Here, for example, we can see that the MV option can look to see if there is a pattern in the missing values, something important for data cleaning and imputation. The sixth feature is examples of command usage. The codebook examples are real examples that step through using the command on a data set either shipped with Stata or loadable within Stata from the internet. Lastly, the information the command stores in the returned results. These results are used primarily by programmers. So, I showed you how to get help in Stata. This feature is especially convenient when you need help on a particular Stata command. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.